Hello arkadaşlarım and welcome to this Turkish bread lentil soup recipe episode in Turkish. This is called mercimek şorbasa and I was inspired to make this soup recipe episode because I ate mercimek şorbasa dozens and dozens of times when I was living and studying Turkish in Baku, Azerbaijan. This was many years ago in the summer of 2016. When I was in Baku, Azerbaijan for two months that summer, I immediately fell in love with mercimek şorbasa when I discovered it. This recipe has 13 ingredients that will eventually turn into this beautiful bowl of mercimek şorbasa. So let's run through them super quickly. Starting with the vegetables, we've got two yellow potatoes, three cloves of garlic. I may throw in a couple more because I absolutely am obsessed with garlic. One yellow onion. There's some carrots going in. This was kind of a rough estimate because the carrots in my local grocery store produce aisle were kind of chopped up and broken. So I just kind of eyeballed it and tried to estimate how much two to three carrots would be. There's six cups of vegetable broth and for every one cup of water there is one teaspoon of this better than bouillon vegetable base. The star of the show here this is one cup of washed red lentils. Organic tomato paste, some more of this Himalayan pink salt which I've been using quite a lot lately, my trusty old bottle of extra virgin olive oil. At the very end I'll be putting in some lemon juice. There's a few spices going in here, there's a bit of coriander, there's some crushed red pepper flakes, and lastly some of the this ground cumin. The first step is to chop up the vegetables right here on this cutting board. So the carrots, the onion, the garlic cloves, and the potatoes. Second, I'll be bringing you over to my stovetop. That's where I've got my soup pot slash Dutch oven ready to go. Pretty much all of the ingredients go into that soup pot and I'll be stirring that for a few minutes. For the third step, which is kind of unique, I'll be coming back to the countertop once the soup is a bit cooled down and you actually pulse it down in this blender. That's what I'm gonna be doing. The way you want this mercimek shorbasa to look and taste is to be very smooth, basically like a vegetable puree. Since there'll be so much liquid in the soup pot, I'm gonna have to blend in batches, but that's okay, I'll just meter it out. Once I've pulsed down all of the soup in the blender, the fourth and final step is to create this spiced oil topping that you put on the soup at the very end. The way that you do that is to take one teaspoon of this crushed red pepper along with a few tablespoons of the olive oil, you mix them together and heat them up on the stovetop and hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll get this beautiful red orangey color. Let's get started. I'm just gonna get this blender out of the way and get to chopping down these vegetables. I'm loving how this mercimek shorbasa is looking. I got it pureed down pretty well. I decided to just do the soup and the oil with the red pepper flakes at the same time on my stove top to save a bit of time. I don't know how well the oil got the color of the red pepper flakes. Let's not waste any time. I'm gonna just dig right in and ladle up some of this soup. Gosh, it looks so... Creamy. I love that there's potatoes in this recipe because it does lighten up the soup a bit because lentils can be really heavy on their own. I've learned this the hard way by eating all lentil pasta without any carbs or anything else to break up 
all that protein. It still is a bit hot, so I'm just gonna be kind of careful. I don't want too much. You're supposed to, well, I think traditionally you serve this with a lemon wedge. That's how I've had it a lot of times when eating out, but I just decided to go with this lemon juice because I had it on hand in my fridge anyways. So I'm just gonna put a few drops of that on the top. I cannot wait to eat this. All right, it's time to eat. Let's give this a try. Mmm. That is just as good as any I've had in a restaurant or cafe. I'm gonna say right now, of all the soups I've made on my channel up until this point, this is hands down my favorite. It is so good. I'm gonna need to meter this out because this is delicious and I could easily eat half of this bowl tonight, but I want it to last. I hope this episode was enough to convince you to try Merjimek Shorbasa for yourself, whether it's in a restaurant, a cafe, or in your own home. I highly recommend trying it out for yourself. It's very easy, pretty straightforward. You don't need that many appliances and the end result is well worth the effort. Thank you so much for watching this Turkish red lentil soup episode. As always, please let me know what you thought about the recipe in the comments or leave a suggestion for a recipe you'd like me to try out. That's it for this vlog. So take care, eat well, and I will see you in the next episode on this channel. Bye.